All right, this video is what you want if you graph your data and you notice that there is a sort of curving decrease in it. And we're going to show you how to analyze that. So the first thing you want to do in this case is go to your advanced edit. We're going to temporarily turn on the legend. You'll see why in a minute. Then we're going to go down to trend line. And for this type of data, we're going to choose exponential. It's going to give us a couple more options after we do that. And then we're going to choose custom for the label, label, and choose use equation. And it's going to give us an equation up here. So I'm going to click update just for now. And now we have a line of best fit or what they call a trend line in here. And it's giving us an equation for that line. So this is what we do with that equation. So if you have something like this, we call it inversely proportional. In other words, as the number of painters increases, the time to complete painting decreases. So this example here is like painting a fence. If you have more painters, it's going to take less time to paint a fence. And so we're just trying to figure out mathematically how can we could generalize that beyond this data. So how these inverse relationships look mathematically is this general equation of y is equal to k divided by x. So y is your um, dependent variable, in this case how long it takes to complete painting, and x is your horizontal axis or your x-axis, and in this case it's the number of painters. And then k is what we call the constant of proportionality. And that will be something that you have to try and figure out in your experiment, what is the constant of proportionality coming from? What, what makes it? And in a lot of cases, you find that out by sort of doing sometimes research to try and see what kind of equations people have already made, and that might help you figure it out. But anyway, once we get this, um, you can see here that the software has given us a value already. And in this case, it's got a lot of uh, decimal places in it. And this is our first sort of clue that we might want to simplify this one into something a little more meaningful. And uh, in this case, I decided to round the 14 to 15, and I decided to round the 0 0.39 to just 1. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to just rewrite this now as t, because time, I, I, I'm going to, I can define that. Uh, instead of saying y, I'm going to say time to complete painting is t. So t is time to complete, and p is the number of painters. And then I'm going to choose 15, and I'm going to think about what 15 means in this context. So if it takes, you know, one painter 12 hours, and then it takes five painters, uh, in this case, uh, a little under three hours, and we find this relationship of 15 divided by p, well, 15 really means, in this case, 15 hours of work in general. And so uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking 15 hours of work and dividing it by how many painters I have. The more painters I have, the less time it takes for it to complete. So some of these data points will match it quite perfectly. Um, like, for example, this one, if I go 15 divided by 4, um, you know, I'm going to get something that's very close to what we get here of 3. But if I use it for this one of 15 divided by 1, I don't get close to the 12. But that's okay. That's something we can talk about in the conclusion about how good our equation is using percentage error. So anyway, the, the whole point of this is get an equation, try and translate it into what it means for your experiment, and try to figure out what your k or constant of proportionality actually means. As a last step, we're going to go into the advanced edit, and we are going to turn off the legend because we don't really need it in the final copy.